Hi Champs, welcome again. My name is Muhammad Sami and in this video we are going to discuss the internal mechanism by which logistics data is extracted into BW. It might seem too bland at first but once you start doing the professional practical exercises the knowledge that you might gain from this video will start to sink in and help you make appropriate decisions during LOS extraction. So let's get on with it then. Just like FI extraction, logistics has an initialization to start with and a delta mechanism to continuously load new documents and changes to the old documents in SAP BW. However, the initialization and delta mechanisms follow separate methodologies when it comes to logistics extraction. The objective of separating out extraction procedure for LOS applications was to minimize overhead on the application processing as logistic applications themselves tend to generate and consume huge amounts of data when compared to the FI or generic applications. The benefit here is twofold as LOS applications had inbuilt structures to support R3 based reporting which could now be taken advantage of in BW extraction. The initialization step employs setup tables that act as buffers to hold the full load during initialization. BW then fetches data from these tables instead of hitting the application tables. This is usually a one-time process and is carried out at the inception of the BW project. Once the initialization is done, the delta mechanism kicks in. But unlike FI extraction, which has a simple timestamp based delta mechanism, logistics supports three types of deltas, namely direct delta, queued delta, also called serialized V3 update, and the last one, unserialized V3. Let us now have a look at them in detail. But before we even go there, let us do a quick recap of the update processes that we discussed in the part one of this video series. The update modules in EZC are basically three. V1 update, which is a synchronous one. V1 update module handles data from mission critical and controlling functions such as updates to primary tables. The V2 update or the asynchronous update handles data for secondary non-critical functions such as update of statistical tables. And finally, the V3 collective run, which is batch asynchronous, is an externally triggered statistical update purely for the purpose of BW extraction. Now that we have recapped, let's proceed with the different delta mechanisms and understanding them in detail. First among the three is direct delta. As the name suggests, it is a more direct method of updating BW's delta queue. In this method, the V1 process that we discussed earlier is given the additional responsibility of updating the delta queue along with the primary application tables fetched from VB HDR, VB data and VB mod tables. Please note here that the VB HDR, VB mod and VB data tables act as temporary storage of user entered data that is saved by the transaction screen directly to these tables before even being posted to the application tables. The, the implications of using this method are that V1 will be burdened but the delta will be faster serialized. As V1 will write and commit every LUW which is the logical unit of work to both the application tables and BW delta Q at the same time. This method is generally advised only for those situations where small number of documents are posted in the system. Next comes queued delta. In this method, the V1 update writes data to an extraction queue instead of writing to the delta queue. The advantage here is that V1 can update up to 10,000 del delta records in a single logical unit of work or LUW in the delta queue, thus utilizing bulk, bulk load features of the underlying database. The extraction queue can then be maintained via the transaction LBW queue. Please note that a V3 run should be scheduled at regular intervals, preferably every hour to transfer the contents of extraction queue to the BW delta queue. Hence this method is also called serialized V3. Once in the BW delta queue, the delta extraction can be extracted to BW via delta enabled info package. Moving on to the final one, the unserialized V3. In this method, 
As depicted in the slide, the delta Q is filled with a scheduled V3 run that picks up data directly from the update tables. Using update tables instead of a queue throws away serialization of the documents. But since no extra queues have been written to, this method performs the best among the three when huge amounts of data needs to be extracted. But again, as we said earlier, be aware that lack of serialization can give erroneous results if not properly handled in BW modeling. But guys, as a general rule of thumb, if you are in doubt, go ahead and use the queued delta method. Hope you got the gist of the delta mechanism and init procedures of logistics. In the next video, that is part 3, we will do an exercise to bring all the concepts that we discussed in part 1 and part 2. Thank you very much and until next time, happy learning.